Hello everyone, welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and thank you all so much for watching and sticking around for the series. But today we're going to be looking at custom recipes. Now last episode, um, we talked about item mana, which was supposed to be for this episode. So I guess that's okay, we covered two things last video, and one. Um, but once again guys, make sure not to skip around this video, or you guys could miss some code that could change the outcome of your project. And lastly, make sure to follow me on GitHub, because everything we do in this video will be uploaded onto there, so you guys can go ahead and check your code with mine and let's get started so for custom recipes there's two different types of custom recipes there is the shaped recipes and the shapeless recipes and now those are pretty easy to explain a shapeless recipe you can put as long as you have the right number of items you can put it anywhere on the crafting table and it's going to give you the item and then, then shaped you need to set them in certain spots in order to get certain thing one of these items being something like TNT you need to put the items in a certain shape or you're not going to get TNT so what we did is I totally did this and because I messed up my recording here um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out these would start off inside of here without the public so that's where they were last video um, so what you guys want to do is you guys just want to copy and paste those out and then just add um, public to them. You can actually make meta private. We don't really need that one to be public. And then we're going to create a new public void uh, custom recipe. And then we'll go ahead and there we go. We also need to call for the main plugin here. And you can do this by just doing private. And now again, this isn't the best way to do it, but this is the way that I know to do it. And this is the way I've been doing it in my plugins. And it seems to be working just fine. So just call for plugin plugin equals your main class dot get plugin and then call for your main plugin or your main class right there like that. Import all that as bucket. And now we have the plugin here. So what we need to do is we need to go sh not shared, shaped recipe equals we'll just call it um uh, we'll just say Zeus axe just to make things easier because that's what it is there it's the axe of Zeus so you know if you're making multiple items and you have multiple recipes if you do it all in the same class you can do something simple like this so you can get the right recipe all right so we need to then we need to call for a new shaped uh, and the new shaped recipe sorry about that got distracted there and then you can go ahead and call for uh, Zeus axe and we'll import that and everything should go change did I spell it wrong oh so we don't we want to call for the item here and so that's going to be item excuse me not the name of the class and then what we need to do is we need to set the shape so we'll call for Zeus X this time you know what? let's just make this even easier let's just make this R for recipe just again you want to name it things that you normally would name it uh, but just do R for now just to keep things quick and easy to understand and then we need to do set ingredient uh, Well, actually before we do that we need actually to set the shape So we have to choose what shape we want it to be in and we're just gonna go all the way down here And so now this is going to be made up of three sets well three sh strings, right? So, and then each one of these, so for, for each space inside of the string represents a line of the crafting table. So on here, I actually have the recipe already up. So if we were to type, you know, hashtag, 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 or pound, 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 that's the first row. Okay, makes sense, pretty easy. Um, but now if we look at our recipe there, we have three different items, which means we need three different characters to represent them and now we need to make our code correspond so what I like to do is I just like to get this part done and then r dot set ingredient and then we need to just do single quote there well I don't know if the or apostrophe apostrophe and then the material is going to be material dot diamond for the first one and then we can go ahead and just copy this two times. Now I said you always should do your code, but I always just do it. Um, I always just copy and paste because I've done this code for a little bit, um, so I know what I'm doing. And then we'll set uh, that as a percent sign, and then we'll set this as a dollar sign. And now you should use uh, things that you just can remember, and you should keep it consistent with uh, all the rest of your shaped recipes um, if they're using the same items. Um, some people might add it into a MySQL database or something like that. Um, but for now, we will just keep it simple. 
and then stick. So now what we need to do is we have a diamond ingot space, right? So we need to do hashtag percent sign space. And now the second row is hashtag dollar sign space. And then the last one is space dollar sign space. So we have made our custom recipe here. And what we can do now is we can just call for a plugin dot get server dot add recipe R. And now we need to call this this constructor here on our main class. So what we need to do is we need to just create a new instance of our custom recipes class here. So custom or custom items class. So custom items items equals new custom items. And then we can go ahead and import that. And now we should be all set to call for items dot custom recipe. And we should be all set here to export this and to load this up. So no errors, plugin's been enabled. Okay, so let's go ahead to our crafting table here. Let's add our two sticks. Let's add our diamond and let's add our ingot. And you can see there we have, well, just diamond axe. Um, it didn't carry over the attributes um, because we actually never made the custom item uh, in this class here. But um, let me just double, double check here if I interact. And then if we make it now, it might spawn it still, but it might not. Yeah, so what we need to do here is we can actually just move all of this code here inside of our custom recipe here. And let's unmake this public. Um, we can move this back out because we don't need that inside of there. And then we'll get rid of that, get rid of player. And so now we have uh, the item being created when the player runs this. Now, if you were to save this item to a hash map or anything like that, um, you could certainly, um, well, hash map or array, you would be able to call it um, just like that. But for now, it's just going to give us the diamond axe because that's technically all we created there. So if we go back to here, let me just clear my inventory. So CI, I iron ingot, I stick, I diamond okay and now we can recreate this here sorry if this video is going on for a little longer than I thought I'm kind of messing up here and now we have the axe of Zeus right so bada bing bada boom let's see what we're at in time eight minutes that's not bad so you can see there that we created a shaped recipe and we got the axe of Zeus and now we're just going to do something uh, really simple here and we're just going to go public void unshaped and we'll just go here and now what we need to do is we will just create a new item stack here and we'll just go ahead and and grab this so copy and paste that and we'll just change this to material dot oh I don't know Apple no that's too simple we'll go uh, material dot uh, oh I don't know let's just think of something that's not too simple something that you might need a little something for blaze powder you know you can't get blaze powder um, just generically in Minecraft so if you wanted to make a way for players to be able to do that you can do this by doing it this way and then we'll go to shapeless recipe I totally just spelled that wrong there we go and we'll say this is RR or uh, shapeless R SLR and then we'll just go to new shapeless recipe and I'm sure it has to just be called um, lowercase there change to yep lower lowercase lowercase L I don't know why shapeless is one word I don't know why I made anything else and then we just need to do SLR dot add ingredient and now we need the number of ingredients that we need so let's say we want three and we need three material dot oh let's see lava bucket and then we can go ahead and tab there and say that's all we wanted say that's all we wanted it to be you just need three lava buckets anywhere is in the crafting table we can go plug in dot get server dot add recipe and then we'll go SLR and you know we'll just do one more ingredient here dot add ingredient and obviously you can't exceed nine ingredients I don't believe you might be able to but I want to say it's gonna make your plugin crash and then we'll say you need three material dot material dot why uh powder what is it well what is gunpowder 
uh, I don't know. We'll just we'll just we'll just say flint. We'll just say flint. And we need three flint. And now we'll go ahead and add this recipe. And now we need to go back to our main class here. And now we need to call items dot and unshaped. And we'll go ahead and export this. And we'll reload our server here. And so now let's do CI. I lava bucket and I flint. And so now you can see here we have one, two, three buckets. One, two, three. And we get blaze powder. And again, I can set this anywhere inside of here, and it's going to give me blaze powder. Now this is this is really useful. Like I said, if you're making a server where maybe it's a survival server and you're having ways uh, that players can go ahead and get other resources maybe more accessibly that may be hard to find and now this can be used for anything um, it doesn't matter what the item is you can make it a custom recipe um, and obviously it'll still hold true to its original recipes if there is one inside the game um, but we can do the same thing here for something like an ender pearl we can use any materials to make this ender pearl and if we go ahead and reload the server here we can go back to here and we have one two three one, two, three, and we have an ender pearl. And now you see here, they can't be stacked like this. They do have to be spread out like you actually are crafting. And now we have three ender pearls. Good thing about buckets is we get them back and we go ahead and just throw this, but I'm gonna get teleported. Yep, and I'm gonna get teleported again. Let's see if we can get back up on there. It's gonna put me on the trees. Not even close on the trees. But that's all I got for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and comment your thoughts. If you guys would like to, be sure to tweet at me. Be sure to tweet at me. I don't know why I just went totally mouth dumb there. Um, at the underscore source underscore code. And be sure to tweet at my hashtag TSC coding. And once again, follow me on GitHub. All the project files from this video will be on there. And once again, thank you for watching. And tune in next time. In next video, we are going to be talking about player uh, first join or join events and you know setting up the join uh, for when a player comes onto your server so thanks for watching